Thank you. Hello everybody, what is up Louis Vlogs and Games here. Welcome to the 82nd vlog of the vlog series. Yeah. I know right, today we are doing something different today as we're going back to Edgebaston Stadium for the second time to watch the cricket. So <gasps> last year we played against the Oval and Finsterport and now this time we're playing against Seven Brave and we're Birmingham Phoenix. So if you haven't seen the, um, the first part of our cricket, um, vlog yeah you can have a look at that down below in the pinned comment or in the description wherever you fancy it so we're gonna get ourselves ready now get sorted and get in the car and go over to edge baston stadium so without further ado let's start the vlog <laughs> Right then, so we are now on the M42 now over towards Junction 2 where we'll be getting off there to head over to the Edgebaston Stadium. So a bit of a spoiler alert here, if you haven't seen um, the previous cricket vlog of our Birmingham Phoenix versus Oval Fifth Balls, we won 174 to 172, so that's pretty good. So I'm wondering who will win today. So you guys have been Birmingham will win! Yes, uh, so we're just going to head over there now. So the cricket starts around half past six and ends around ten o'clock. So we'll probably be back home about half past eleven. We don't know. So we're heading over there now, and we'll see you when we get there. So then, just made it to Edgebaston Stadium now. The parents are just going to park the car somewhere, just drop us off here for like ten minutes until they come back. So. We're here for like a few hours now until the game starts, so we'll have some time to wait here before they come back down. Then we'll go inside the stadium and watch the cricket. See that the queue is going um, rather huge now, so um, hopefully it won't take as long to get ourselves in, and we'll be in there in no time. And here comes the first few shuttle buses from New Street Station to drop off the cricket fans. Gotta say though, that bus looks very full inside. Uh... About another 45 minutes later, we can see our family is now here. We're really here after walking 40 miles. Where's the park? Along with what in heaven. So, without any further ado, let's not stand around for too long and now get inside the stadium, get our seats, sit back, relax, and watch the cricket. And it's totally a very sunny day for the cricket with temperatures of 30 degrees, and luckily, we are in the shade. Today we will be sitting on seat 331 to 336, so we managed to take a seat at 332. Right then, so we're sat down, possibly a great view to watch the cricket as well. We're actually uh, in a different seat this time compared to last time. Uh, so we're here now, the cricket's about to start in about half an hour, so we're going to get everyone here and the cricket will start. Let's hope huh? we'll win. Uh, Woo! Alan, remember? Oh, hello. Hello. What do you think you must be wearing? I don't know. Like a helmet that you wear for Birmingham Phoenix. Uh, does that look nice on you? Yeah. How about me? Oh, another one. Uh, During this time, we managed to get three photos with three famous people that used to play cricket, and one of them still does now. Including Ian Morgan, which sadly retired from cricket two months ago. Mark Butcher, who retired in 2009. And lastly, Kevin Peterson who's playing for England in 2018. Cool. Headed it. Come on in, what are you going to do? Going to have a ball first. What's your thoughts, Nick? Um, not, really. Just not really sure what a good score's going to be. And um, yeah, throughout the competition, only one game this year, but last year as well, we found a good formula doing it that way around. So um, yeah, so we're going to go out there and do the job, but yeah, ball first. You win it last year, you've already got one. So it turns out that Seven Brave is going to be bowling and will be up first to bat. Let's up the for the Birmingham Phoenix opening batters. First of all, number 26, Will Speed. So here we go. Let's hope Birmingham will make us proud. Two fireworks as well. For well, the first 25 balls, we're off of the power play. So let's see how well we can get with the first throw. And we're kick starting off the game with a nice starting four. Go on. Oh. 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 They should do it. Pretty good so far with a lot of falls there. Really good. Oh, oh no, no, no. It's not gonna be Drop it! Drop it! Ah. 
And this is where we have to say goodbye to one of our players as we got our first wicket. It's Overall, we're doing really good so far with a bunch of fours, and hopefully, we'll get a six soon. And there we have it, that's our first six of the match. There's another six from Birmingham Phoenix, and then the next ball. That could be another six! Woo! We was lucky enough to get another six, and now we are over 80 points right now, so we are doing overall really good. And looks like we are over the 100 mark. Hunger the 19 more, we've got 30 balls left. Guess what? I, have, I found three tough, I mean, three pounds for me. Oh, I just have to be in six. And we're over the 120 mark now because we got another six on the 71st bowler. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. And luckily, we managed to get another one on 76. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is when Birmingham breaks a new record. And here we go then, the second half is about to go underway. Let's just hope for the boy base we will be able to win this. Seven players were off to a flying star here with a few sixes on the first few balls. Uh, but luckily enough on this one, yeah! we managed to get one of the best players out already. Uh, which will have a massive advantage on us trying to win this now. Uh. Oh! Yeah! Well, that's another seven players that bites the dust. As it turns out, we now have a 85% chance of us winning the game now. And that is already four out on the first 50 balls. This was also an out here, but I didn't manage to get a clip of it, unfortunately. With still about 30 balls left and 80 runs needed, I don't think it's very likely it's going to happen now. They got a six here, but I don't think it can be done here now. It's possible, but very unlikely. Yeah. 
and that is already eight wickets. If we get two more here, they immediately lose the game. Right, this is it. They have nine wickets now, and if they get this next wicket, make it ten, they immediately lose the game, and Birmingham Phoenix become the winners tonight. Seems like everyone is going to get excited here. One more out, and that's it. They lost the game, and they faced their worst defeat. The Southern Braves. And there we have it! The Seven Braves has faced their worst defeat, getting 10 wickets with 15 balls left and that makes Birmingham Phoenix the winners. As they finished with around 54 points left uh, and that was an unbelievable second half of the cricket. I am genuinely surprised to see a cricket match like this happening. The crowd was today too. Everyone was going, Phoenix, 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 Come on guys! So there we have it. That's our time at Edge Passing Stadium. Now it's time to exit the stadium and go home. Wow, I am surprised. That was an unbelievable 53 point lead for Birmingham Phoenix. And then Southern Brave just weren't brave enough, got all 10 outs, and they lost by 53. He only scored about 100 ends, 24. So that is a pretty amazing match, and that was the worst for um, Southern Brave. Right then, so that's it from Edge Baston Stadium here tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this one, please do drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one because this weekend we're heading over to Butlins, which is going to be a very exciting vlog. So we'll see you next time. Bye.